Hello, my name is Greg Carlton. I work here at High Tech Welding. One of the biggest challenges of portable welding is bringing enough equipment with you to cover the multitude of scenarios that are unforeseeable out on a job site. I've encountered everything from welding fireplaces in people's houses, very nice houses that you have to be very careful, uh, all the way to into manure pits. In the past, before having the multi-mass 200 I have had to keep multiple machines in the truck now with a multi-process machine I set it in my passenger seat and I go I don't have to think about it I guess it's making my job easier because each different unit you take out you have to set up and this one well you've got one unit so it's just a matter of switching cables instead of pulling out wrapping up a different unit basically there's three possible cables that you've got. You've got your ground, you've got your stick lead, and you've got your MIG. It's a matter of switching those. Turn a dial, punch in your uh, material thickness, rod, or wire size you're using, and away you go. In a job that requires multi-processes, I would say around 25 to 30 percent time savings with not having to wrap up and switch units. We all love it. It's, it's a phenomenal machine. The ease of setup, I stick with this one and I keep using it. What we're working on today is a logging truck. This is what they haul the lumber out of the woods with. In this case, he's got some cracking happening on the bunk's top of his framing. Not the actual truck frame, but where he loads the truck or the logs on. So what we'll do is we're going to clean out the old weld that is cracked so far. And then because it is structurally important, we will go back with a 7018 rod and do all our welding up position. When I get to a point where I've got to brace things, I hook the MIG up, go through everything, have everything prepped, tack all my pieces in with the MIG, and then I just switch it over to stick and everything's right there and nothing left but the easy part to do. It all comes down to dollars. That's how, by being able to do a job much more efficiently, We've been doing this for so long, they've seen in the past, okay, they'll even tell us, hey, this broke on this, it's going to take you about two hours to do it, can you come out and do it now? Well, now I go out there and maybe it only takes an hour and a half because I've got everything there, and they're going, wow, that used to take you longer. There's the benefits. The customer is happy. They're not at all hesitant to call back and say, hey, now you think you can get it done in an hour and a half? <laughs> The efficiency of it allows you to get out, get the stuff done, and get back to the shop to keep up with the influx of stuff coming in.